At CTS, we understand the importance of engaging spectators who are unable to physically be in your facility, which is why we have put together this simple guide to show you how you can utilize DisplayLink Plus and your existing video board controller combined with a video capture device to easily live stream your video board data. To begin, we will cover the necessary connections. There are five versions of controllers offered by CTS through the years that have the capability to output video suitable for a live stream. We will break these five controllers down into two types of connections. Type 1 will cover how to connect an MCTRL300, MCTRL600, or MIC VPU01. Type 2 is for a VX4 or MCTRL660. There are timestamps in the description of this video to skip to your application. As computer specs have changed through the years, we recommend that before beginning, you verify the video connection type running from your DisplayLink computer to the video display controller. We will detail how to make the needed connections using the most common cabling. If your system has another type of cable connecting the DisplayLink computer to the controller, you will most likely need to purchase conversion cables that match your system's needs. Some common types of video connections that we have utilized in the past include DVI to DVI cable, DisplayPort to DVI conversion box, and DisplayPort to DisplayPort cable. Connect your DisplayLink computer to a video capture device using an HDMI cable connected from your DisplayLink computer's HDMI output to the capture device's HDMI input. These three controllers require a pass-through video capture device, similar to the AverMedia GC311. Next. Connect an HDMI to DVI cable to the capture device's HDMI output and connect the other end to the DVI input on the controller. Connect the video capture device to the streaming computer using a USB cable. With these connections complete, you are ready to pull the video feed into a broadcast software. You can use the timestamp in the description to skip to the broadcasting section. For this type of connection, no change is needed for the DisplayLink computer to the controller. Connections will only need to be made between the controller, capture device, and streaming computer. These two controllers are compatible with any type of video capture device and are not limited to pass-through style devices. First connect a DVI to HDMI cable for the controller's DVI output to the capture device's HDMI input. Next, connect the video capture device to the streaming computer using a USB cable. With these connections complete, you are ready to pull the video feed into a broadcast software. We will be showing how to bring the video feed in using the free open source software OBS, although other broadcast software are available. Start DisplayLink on your DisplayLink computer and open your broadcast software on your streaming computer. Select the Add Source or Add Input button in your broadcast software. Then select either Video Capture Device or Camera depending on which is available. Name the Video Capture Device in the broadcast software and make sure Make Source Visible is checked, then click OK. In the next window, use the device drop-down menu to select USB video. If multiple video sources are available, the source name could be different. Verify that the sample feed is the same as what is being displayed in the active window in the display link. Here, you can also adjust parameters such as color, resolution, and frames per second. When finished, click OK to add the input source to the canvas. Due to the way that DisplayLink transmits data to the video board, the entire monitor from the DisplayLink computer will be shown. To isolate just the scoreboard video output, you will need to crop the input source. Right-click on the video capture source and then click Filters. Next, click the plus icon in the Effect Filters section. Select Crop Pad. Set left and top to zero. If monitor resolution on the DisplayLink computer is set to 1920 by 1080, set the right crop to 1376 and the bottom to 808 to view only the scoreboard video output. The crop value is determined by subtracting the board width and height from the monitor resolution width and height. Click close when finished to save the crop settings. You can now resize and move the feed from DisplayLink on the canvas as needed. You can now set up the rest of your stream and have clear live scoreboard data available to your audience. OBS and other broadcast software have large support networks. We recommend researching online for more information on setting up a successful live stream using your chosen broadcast software. Referenced video capture devices and broadcast software are neither supplied nor endorsed by Colorado Time Systems and are referenced for either being common to the industry or having been utilized by other CTS customers. 